Welcome to the Halloween themed episode of Dust in the City. Halloween is my favorite holiday. And as you can see, Francois and I are in the holiday spirit. I'm in my mini onesie. So let's just get right into it. First up is fashion with Francois. Just because you've gotten older doesn't mean you have to stop putting time into getting dressed up. In fact, I think creativity gets better with age. This year, Francois decided to go with a gothic chic theme for his attire. When I think of gothic chic, I think of a mysterious sexiness. I think of concealing while at the same time exposing. I think of leather, I think of lace, I think of feathers, I think of just luxurious accessories. I think of vampires, I think of mixing and matching traditional gender-specific items into one chic ensemble. What he started out with was this amazing jacket from Zara that has this embroidery on it, which is kind of military inspired. And then underneath it, he put just a plain white button up. He wanted to keep the base very simple because when it comes to Gothic chic, I think it's all about the accessories. I think it's all about the attention to detail. The first accessory I'm gonna talk about is right here. So it's this bolo tie. I got this tie from my brother who was serving a mission in New Mexico and he met an individual that made these. So not only is this a special item to me, but it is a one-of-a-kind item. So I'm so excited to have it in my collection. The next accessory I'm going to talk about is this walking cane. And what makes it just very gothic chic and kind of over the top is the head of the cane. It's this metallic um, metal raven or eagle head and again it's all about the details and it's all about the fun and the accessories. The accessory that I'm most excited about is this custom hat that I actually created. I went online and I looked up Gothic Chic, I looked at Edgar Allan Poe, I found that the top hat was probably the way to go for a hat to wear with this ensemble, but I wanted to kind of make it go over the top and just really elevate it to just kind of that luxurious look and feel. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I found this little ceramic uh, peacock ring holder and I put that on top of the hat and then I found peacock feathers and I applied it to the hat and I made it so that it just cascaded down around the hat to just create this drama that I wanted to have with this gothic chic themed ensemble. And then to kind of be a companion to the hat, I created this masquerade mask and I took the peacock feathers and I applied it to the mask as well and I wanted to go for a half mask because again with gothic chic I thought it was all about concealing but at the same time exposing and the really fun part about this mask is when you pair it with the hat it makes it look like the cascading feathers continue down onto your face which I think just really makes this look so much fun. Continuing on with accessories for this look is this cocktail ring from Betsy Johnson. It's in the shape of a crown. I'm all about costume cocktail rings. I love wearing them as rings themselves or wearing them as a tie slide when I want that extra bling to my ensemble. And this is just the perfect addition to this gothic chic look. Another accessory is this amazing gothic chic to a T bracelet. It's got the lace, it's got the rhinestone in a dark stone. Uh, you wear it on your wrist like a bracelet and then it's got this ring that is attached to it with this black rose. It's just everything you want from an accessory when you're going gothic chic. The perfect ensemble has to be planned out from head to toe, so we can't forget about our footwear. Francois decided to pair with his ensemble these loafers from Steve Madden. They've got a suede upper and these amazing rhinestones to cap out the toe, and it is the perfect pair for the gothic chic that we're looking for. Next up is Dapper Discoveries. Recently I was freelancing at a corporate office and I noticed on their walls they had all these framed vintage Vogue's and a light bulb went off in my head. What an amazing interior design idea. So as I was browsing eBay, trying to decide exactly what vintage Vogue I wanted to frame, I remember the exhibit at the Met that they had on Irving Penn and all the Vogue covers that he shot. I remember as I was in the exhibit, I had this connection with the simplicity of his sets and his subjects and just how beautiful he was able to make those covers look. Luckily, I was able to find this Vogue from August 1950 that was shot by Irving Penn and actually featured in the exhibit. I haven't decided if I'm going to frame it in a modern frame or a vintage frame, so if you have any suggestions, please feel free to share. 
Thank you for watching the Halloween episode of Dust in the City. We are so excited to have you come back again and again to see all the fashion moments we have to share.